The Fox 44 Weather Forecast with Weather Rage Certified Meteorologist Emily Kay. Never good to leave your kid in the car, but certainly not when temps are this high. And we are seeing some triple digits all over the board. Absolutely. It's definitely dangerous. Minutes in the car could be right. catastrophic because temperatures are in the triple digits. They're going to be in the triple digits for the next several days. We're also under a heat advisory. That is for most of Central Texas. We're actually even under a burn ban. Here in McLennan County, or McLennan County. It's we hot. About that. It is very hot out there. <laughs> it's unfortunate if we take a look at the satellite radar across all of Texas. Guess what? There's nothing to cool us off. No clouds, no rain, no nothing. A few showers and storms off towards the Panhandle and even off into Louisiana and parts of Mississippi. But overall, here in Texas, we're clear. It's going to be clear for the next several days. That is why it is so hot. There's nothing really to cool us off. Again, taking a look at the heat advisory across most of the area and a closer look here at Central Texas, that heat advisory, until tomorrow night around 7 p.m. So it is going to feel like 105 degrees once again tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be very uncomfortable as we go throughout the day. So make sure to limit your time outdoors and to drink plenty of water. And again, make sure you don't leave anything in the car. And again, if we take another look at the live radar, no rain here in Central Texas. And that is what's causing this burn ban here in McLennan County and a few other counties across the board. So it is going to be very hot night as well. Temperatures right now, lower 90s, upper 80s across most of the area. Very uncomfortable, feeling much warmer than that. That's thanks to these dew points in the mid 70s, upper 60s, making it muggier, making it warmer. Those feel like temperatures in the mid to upper 90s and even still in the triple digits in some areas. So again, Gettings feeling like 102 degrees. Waco feeling like 94 degrees. So it's very, very hot out there. It's going to be hot tomorrow. It's actually going to be even hotter tomorrow. And as we get into Friday, it's going to be even warmer on Friday. Again, overnight tonight, temperatures Temperatures dropping down into the mid 80s by tomorrow morning, waking up to those temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Some of us might not even reach the 70s, staying in the 80s overnight. And as we get into tomorrow afternoon, temperatures warming up nicely into the upper 90s and even reaching the triple digits in most areas. This model having temple reaching 100 degrees tomorrow afternoon, dropping back down into the mid to lower 80s by tomorrow evening. It is going to be another warm night tomorrow and going into Friday. That's going to be our warmest morning of the week so far. Temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s by Friday morning. Mostly clear skies, mostly sunny skies going into the afternoon. Temperatures getting all the way up into the triple digits basically across the board. So look at that. This model having most of us reaching the triple digits by Friday afternoon. Going to be another very hot, hot day. Overnight tonight, temperatures dropping down into the upper 70s and even into the lower 80s. It's going to be warm and humid and no chance of rain to cool us off. So uncomfortable tonight, uncomfortable tomorrow. Temperatures getting into the triple digits, feeling like 105 degrees. That's where that heat advisory comes into play for tomorrow afternoon. Mostly sunny skies and that southerly wind bringing in those moist, uh, the moist air and making it feel much muggier out there. And for the next seven days, temperatures in the triple digits. This makes me sad to see, honestly. <laughs> so hot out there. Triple digits going into the middle of next week. Mostly sunny skies. By tomorrow, uh, temperatures dropping down into the upper 70s. And honestly, I think a lot of us really probably won't drop down into the upper 70s. A lot of us might even only reach the 80s overnight. So it's going to be a warm night. Really no relief um, as the sun sets. Still muggy, mostly sunny skies. No chance of rain, which is really what makes this so awful and so uncomfortable for most of us. And uh, same thing for Bryan College Station. Those Temperatures reaching 102 degrees over the weekend and dropping down into the upper 70s and possibly not even reaching the upper 70s overnight. So again, a very hot week ahead of us and there is no relief in sight just yet. So seven days of this heat. Are you ready? No, 103 <laughs> on Monday. Mm.